Ace money to name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks, as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a B&E with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. Today, this is a uh, second game, 8 o'clock game. Mystics versus the Lynx. Lines opened up at plus seven and a half. Mystics is the underdog. Uh, I think their record is like four and ten or something. Doing pretty bad. Uh, line jumped up to plus nine and a half. I think Dolson's going to be out. Could be why it moved. Um, over under 157 and a half. Moved up a very, very slight bit. It's 158. And... Uh, Plus 270 was Washington. That shot up to plus 390. Uh, Lynx should take it. Lynx are playing at home. Uh, let's see what happens. Got a few play props. Stay away from the sides. I'm staying away from the totals. Let's get into it. All right, first up, I'm going uh, Bridget Carlton, three-pointers over two and a half. She's juggling between her points and her threes. They got a point line, ten and a half. You can get it down to nine and a half. Decided to go with her threes because she mostly only shoots threes. Um, they haven't played yet this year, head-to-head. -head. The last five, she's hit the 60% for the year, 40 Minutes have been taken up a little bit, nothing crazy. Actually, taken down if you look at it. Um, three points. She's shooting almost 60%. It's for the last 10 games, averaging about a little over five attempts. She's hitting three. She's exceeded two and a half threes in four of the last five home games. If I switch it to the home games. You can see that for the last five, three, three, four, she missed it, and four. The day she missed it, she did pretty bad. She didn't even play that many, shoot that many. But uh, stays out of foul trouble. Washington seventh and three points allowed. Uh, show you her points real quick. I was going to do like a half unit on points. Drop it down. Always alt line if you could. I'd rather take it at the nine and a half. But uh, she's gone over this a few times. She's exceeded ten and a half points in uh, four of the last five home games. The thing is, with her, see, with her field goals, she's shooting, say, it says nine, one, seven, eleven, ten. And then if I switch it to threes, Six one five four eight six. So she's shooting mostly threes. Uh, safer bet might be the points nine and a half. So if you want to take that, there's a uh, this other site I've been messing around with called Props Madness. Shows a little more breakdown on the defense. And the matchups and all the teams that matched up against them. And it shows where the players been shooting. So Collins been shooting 7% from in here, 10% from in there, 1%, mostly from the outside behind the arc, 65%. And I could switch it to where the defense, how they're ranked, team they're playing, and out here they're ranked eighth. There's only 12 teams out here, seventh, nine. So I figure uh give her a better chance to they allow threes. So I figure I'd give it a shot. Let me get back to it. So I got Bridget Carlton points. Uh not points. I, I took her threes. Safe bet would be her points, but uh I'm going threes for that plus money. Taking it.
All right, excuse me, sorry. Uh, next up, we got Courtney Williams. Minus 110 points over 11 and a half. Uh, actually, I played on DraftKings, minus 115. And that money in my Caesars. Line shop, always line shop, all line. If you can, you know, I say it all the time. Big difference between winning and losing. Uh, reason why I played this is, I mean, she did clear it last game. The last two home games, she's went over this. 12 and 12. Uh, she's putting up a decent amount of shots, nothing crazy. She's averaging 10, 11 shots a game. It's last like six games. She's making 40% of them, uh, 37% from threes. You don't really shoot threes, maybe two a game. And, uh, a couple foul shots. Washington, seventh in points allowed. Picked this too because um, once again I checked out in this props madness site with Courtney Williams. Even in all the points, you can see she got a little uptick and then she cleared it. Hopefully she stays on that path, and goes over it. But you can sh it shows her shot selection: eleven percent from in here, six percent by the foul line, 61% in, right inside the three-point line, and then 22% from the outside. Opponent's defense gets worse and worse. Nine by the foul line, seven inside that mid-range, and, uh, and eight on the outside point. She shoots a lot of middies. It's all up in here. So, yeah, 61% mid-range. So this is the real reason why I played it. Uh, the other players that have played this team against them, there's been a 9% average point difference, meaning the people in uh, Williams' position have gone over their points. I mean, not all of them, but it's definitely in the green. Uh, new little scenario I'm trying out. So basically, all the percentages of where she shoots from, pick a roll ball handler. She's a guard, so she's handling the ball. They rank fifth in defense, spot ups, they rank eighth in defense. And, you know, transitions, they rank nine, so she's running with the ball. Just seems like a good spot for her to score. I figure I'd give it a shot. Um, yeah. This is what I decided to go with. Courtney Williams points over 11 and a half. You go all line it back, all line it. I already know that. Let's move. I'd like to take this time and ask you if you could like that video. It means you people watching, hit that like button, please. New viewers, subscribe. Turn my notifications on. Get all my plays, my videos, my live bets, my info. Uh, try to be as transparent as possible. Uh, appreciate everybody. Likes, comments, help get the videos out there. Also, some feedback will help me fix some things you guys don't like or just help make the channel better. Uh, appreciate everybody. Let's keep it moving. Alana Smith points over 12 and a half. Minus 114, FanDuel, I played it. Uh, heavily juiced at over 9.5, 10, so they're expecting at least 11 points. Now, hit rate ain't that crazy. Uh, Washington is 7th in points allowed. When she just played Connecticut on the 2nd, she had 14 points. I break it down to home games. She cleared this the last two home games, 14 and 14. She's shooting the ball very well, almost 50%. Uh, 44 from the three-point, a little over 70 from the foul line. She's averaging two and a half threes attempts, and uh, she's making one of them. 
So if she shoots the ball enough, she's easily going to go over this. Um, another reason why I did this is because, go back to this props madness. And uh, do it. this is our shot chart, 46 from in there, 6. 4% mid-range and 42% behind the arc. Uh, opponent's defense. It's, it's a little better inside that little right underneath the basket, but everywhere I was 9, 9, and 9. Uh, she's, a, she's a forward. She's, uh, she's kind of tall. I think she's easily going to go over this. Um, Spawn-ups, the defense is ranked 8th. It's where she shoots the ball most. Uh, pick and roll, demand, not the she not the ball carrier. They're pretty bad at defense there. Yeah, transition, they're ranked ninth. So everything's leaning in her favor. Uh, players that play her same position, that play like her, it's an average point difference of 27%. And the green hit rate is 75%. So uh, they, these teams haven't played each other yet, so she has no history. But I believe she should go over this. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. Lana Smith, she can shoot the three. Not, she don't shoot it all the time, but she can hit it. Uh, definitely got some uh, a good shot. Shoots high percentage. So as long as she puts up enough shots, she's going to go over this. Hope so. Lana Smith points over 12 and a half. All right, so uh, next up, I got Maisha Hines Allen. Played this last game. She decided, <laughs> decided to pass the ball instead of shoot it. Uh, we missed it. She's got a decent hit rate for the last five, definitely. Um, we're going to go back to her. Let's clear this four out of the last five. I mean, Minnesota is good, second rank in points allowed, so they don't allow much scoring, but I'm not asking her to score 20. She's got to get over nine and a half. She's shooting the ball real well, 61% these last five games, averaging almost 10 attempts. She's hitting almost six of them. Um, I'll break it down in the median. She's actually averaging eight and five, and she's making five. Three points, two attempts, she's making one, she's shooting 50%. Free throws less. She's only had two attempts a game, averaging hitting 50% as well. She's exceeded nine and a half points in four of the last five, averaging about 14. Uh, I'm thinking she's going to try to score. Get back to her roots. Uh, if I break it down, go to this props madness. Shows a little shot selection. Now, her shot selection, 57%, almost 60%, right underneath the basket. 11% in that foul line, a little 4%. Uh, inside the arc, and then uh, 24 from three. Opponent's defense. Six, six, five, and one. So where she takes most of her shots is right around the basket. You know, the middle of the pack and defending that. So she got. I feel like she got a good chance to go over it. She's a uh, spot up, restricted area shooter. It's all in that paint area. The average point differentials are only one percent, but it's still it's one percent. Uh, hit rate 50% for average players that play like her. I just feel like it's a good spot. She had an off game last game. I think she's going to bounce back. Like I said, it's not asking her to score a lot. Just five baskets. Could be five putbacks, anything. A little pick and roll action. Uh, she's playing plenty of minutes. Nothing crazy in 20 minutes, 18, 20 minutes. 
she has exceeded nine and a half in four of the last five games. So hopefully she uh, steps the game back up and goes over this. Give it one more chance. Maisha Allen. All right, so last up, decided to go back to Julie Van Lu points, nine and a half. I was just keep enticing me. Uh, she has up and down games. She, she's point guard. She's actually started. I didn't know she was starting the last couple of games. They had a start. So she her minutes ticked up. Uh, she usually gets good assists, but... Uh, she puts up a decent amount of threes. If she's on, she'll obviously easily clear this. If she's off, she won't. But um, she's been doing this little yo-yo. Miss, she hits. Misses, hits. Missed. I'm hoping she hits. Uh, the matchup ain't that great for her. to defend pretty good behind the arc. But it's not like she just shoots behind the arc. She'll drive and everything else. So, uh. I got to show before that, that mid-range, I mean, they, they allow the least amount of threes. So besides that, inside here, if she takes it inside, she should be able to score. But if her three's falling, she should go over this anyway. I did a little half unit, a little sprinkle. Uh, my unit size ain't that big. So a little sprinkle to me was like $20. I bet 25 a play. That's my unit size, but I did a little bit less. Uh, you know, use your discretion. If you want, you could do points and assists. You might have a better chance to hit. She has a decent amount of assists. Besides that last game, where she didn't really score. She has gone over that as well. But, uh... Yeah, I just figured if a shot's falling, she's going to go over it. If it's not, it's not. I'll lose 20 bucks. But, uh, yeah. All right, so we'll see what happens. Hopefully, it ain't a blowout. Um, see if they can compete. Uh, Ace money to name, getting paper to game. Let's keep it moving. Uh -huh.